As we begin this, Your Excellency, the eight, seven value chains that we've talked about this afternoon, uh, value chains that you've identified, uh, value chains that you've had a conversation with uh, governors about, and also with the private sector. I just want to ask you to set the scene in how these seven value chains can transform this country's economy with the bottom-up economic transformation agenda. What is it that these value chains can do and how can they transform? Thank you very much, uh, Lati Latif. Uh, Madam Chair of the Council of Governors, uh, my sister Caro, Ministers present, uh, Governors present, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Um, we structured, um, I mean, when we went out to the people of Kenya to ask them how they would want their government to attend to the issues that are of priority and important to them. Uh, a couple of issues uh, stood out. Many people talked about jobs. People wanted uh, an opportunity to work. Many people in every part of Kenya say there must be a plan on how to engage the millions of young people. Many people wanted agriculture to pay. Many people spoke about the agricultural produce. Whether it was leather, I remember in Kajiado, uh, a lady who spoke in Kajiado said, we are burying our, our hides, we are burying our skins. In many parts of Kenya, that was the practice. I remember I was in, in Mandera, same thing. Many people, uh, for example, when you were in Akuru, you remember Susan, many people talked about pyrethrum. They said, we used to make money from pyrethrum. We went to school with uh, using uh, money we, we uh, parents get from pyrethrum. What happened? And, and many of the value chains, uh, whether it is cotton, we went to El Geo Maracuete, people were asking us, what happened to cotton? We have a ginery somewhere, I think it was uh, uh, down in uh, Baringo Down, where they said the ginery has died uh, or something. We, we went to Kitui, and it was the same story. So the value chains is part these value chains are part of the bottom-up economic transformation agenda because it came from the people, number one. Number two, 